الرحمن الرحيم use the altitude and land the plane 15 volts because I'm not using throttle just gliding I have covered 23.3 23.4 kilometer already during this flight it has been a wonderful flight Assalamu alaikum and greetings Alishan Mo here just now I had a flight the maiden FPV flight on my Rambler RS all set with the FPV system and the flight control system I'm using the SN light flight control system I upgraded the firmware today I was having some issues of flickering OSD after upgrading the firmware no more flickering all kind of cameras can be used and I also got geofencing and some new options now one thing you should remember that uh, after you install the flight controller in your long-range FPV plane you have to dial it in and dialing in the PIDs takes a couple of flights like in my very first flight I felt that the plane is just slowly going left going right I mean you can feel it but uh, to an eye of a person who have flown a lot of FPV I can easily feel the plane is doing that kind of snake movement in a very long manner but there is that so I have to dial down the PIDs probably or increase the PIDs this is all trial and error which I will be doing in my coming up flights now my next step definitely is to install a UHF receiver and a UHF system that I'm gonna use with my Tyrannis X9D uh, you know plus SE version and I can go long range but for now I have a X8R receiver that allows me maximum one 1.5 kilometer control range which is more than enough which is fine because a long range will come later now my second step is now that my first step has confirmed that the plane is flying very well it's absolutely a charming flyer and a beautiful plane and uh, the, the flight performance is absolutely stable and very nice and definitely it will do long-range flights because on my very first flight I did 12 kilometer distance that's that's what I accumulated not I went straight ahead and went but you know I just circled around in this area and I accumulated 12 kilometer distance now my second test is to figure out how long the plane flies on the forest 3300 million battery and how much distance it can cover once I figure that out then I will attempt a long-range flight is straight out back to that distance that the plane can actually handle using a UHF system so for this second flight now I have a fully charged 4S battery in here okay and uh, I have removed my HD camera because the battery died on that one I gotta do something for that so there will be no HD video recorded for this one anyway it's gonna be boring what I'm gonna do is take off and <laughs> you know just put the plane into circles let it circle around until the battery runs out and using my oh yes most beautiful OLED sky zone goggles the all new sky zone 030 OLED goggles I will be watching the feed time by time and record DVR time by time to see how the flight went and in the end how much distance we have accumulated and what is the flight time All right, plane is doing circles now. So I'm just gonna stop recording this feed and let it circle around. All right, the plane is still circling around. I can see it, though it's going very, very far. I can still see it is circling around. I put the throttle lower. It was last time I saw, oh, I lost it. Last time I saw the OSD, it was draining 7.5 amp. So in between 10, 11, 7, it's draining those amps, but it's circling around. I found it again, circling around beautifully. I hope nothing goes wrong. <clears throat> it's a test of flight endurance. Let it circle around for a while, and then uh, I'll check back again and let you know how it's going. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you Do just what you want You're the one I trust And I always be around When I need some love and baby No one else Yeah Put you down Put you down
just gliding. I have covered 23.3, 23.4 kilometer already during this flight. It has been a wonderful flight. Awesome. Now it's time to land the plane before the battery runs out. So I'm just gonna go to my favorite place to make an approach. Marina is gone. <laughs> that is nice man. Marina is gone. Why? All right, making an approach, turning around. That's my RC airport right there. That's my runway. Coming in, 14.8 volt left, three amps draining on the motor now. 55 kilometer speed, 54, 53, 56, going up and down. Altitude 37, 36, 35, coming low. Yes, baby, 24.3 kilometer total accumulated. All right, throttle zero. Clear the trees, dive, 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 and level up for a nice landing. Sweet, beautiful landing, man. Awesome. So, 21 minutes, 4 seconds long flight, 24.5 kilometer covered, accumulated and 14.9 volts battery left still. I am impressed and I'm really really happy because Rambler RS has proved to be a very stable, very capable long-range FPV platform. I have accumulated 24 km on this flight in 19 minutes and I was just cruising around at higher throttles. If I could cruise around lower throttles I could even go farther. So now I know the capabilities of this plane, I can say that I will be flying I can say that with a 4S30 300 milliamp battery, I have 20 minutes of flight time or 24 minutes of flight time at the max because I landed at 14.8 volt. I could still drain the battery down to 14.4 volts. That means I could fly up to 25 minutes. So, to be safe, I will say I will have 20 minutes. To be safe, I will say I'll have 20 minutes of flight time and 24 or 25 kilometers to go. That means uh, 12 kilometers to go. 12 kilometers to come back. That is a nice long-range flight. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a nice long-range flight. But obviously not here. I have to find some open area. Maybe go to Shangtan RC Airport that's built on a mountain, and I can go straight for a long-range flight in an, uh, in a, you know, rural areas. That will be very, very nice. So people, you know, Rambler RS is a capable long-range FPV flying wing. 24 kilometers accumulated in 19 minutes today. I am really happy and excited about it. Stay tuned for more FPV videos coming very soon to your way. 
with the Rambler RS.